Power to see through smoke and look right at hot spots. You're looking at technology. 10 News has learned was tested for the very first time in San Diego during these recent wildfires. As 10 News reporter Michael Chen found out, the new camera could give fire crews extra time to save homes. On the left is a nighttime look at a person from the human eye as smoke envelops him. On the right is a look through an infrared eye. Despite the smoke, the person glows white. It's a technology now being tested on the fire lines in San Diego. This is a handheld thermal imaging camera. Cal Fire Deputy Chief Mark Hafner showed us the $4,000 FLIR camera that sees through smoke. On the bottom, you can see a cloud of smoke. But on top, with the infrared camera, you can see a truck's heat signature driving toward a hot spot. County Supervisor Ron Roberts, who's pushing to buy cameras for local crews, says zeroing in on the hot spots is critical. You can use your crews to put the water on the fire, not just spraying all over. I compare it to instead of using a shotgun, up, we can use a rifle. The camera can also spot fire victims inside a home. On the left is a smoke-filled home. On the right, the camera quickly spots the person through the smoke. In our region, the camera testing is attached to Chief Hafner, who spent much of his time during the recent fires overseeing the firefight. But he was on the front lines in the Bernardo fire, where he pointed the camera at smoke in a canyon. I was able to look at it, see where the fire was coming, see how far out ahead of it it was spotting, and then alert a, a strike team of engines just pulled in. I told them, you got probably two minutes before the fire's going to hit this house. Those guys all started pulling hose and surrounded and, and did their job. Other jobs that can be taken on by the camera, peering through smoke and spotting smoldering embers on rooftops and arcing power lines. Urban fire crews use similar technology, but their thermal cameras are considered too bulky, the battery lives too short for wildfire crews. Supervisor Roberts is hoping to find funding for 100 cameras for local firefighters. Michael Chen, 10 News.